Okay, with me today is Guido, and he has got the most fortunate uh, position of owning two Formula One Ferraris, the 28 car and the number 27 car. Uh, Guido, tell us about the cars, please. Okay, well, look, uh, it's uh, a very lucky break for me, really, to have been able to buy two cars, and I had the opportunity to buy the 27 car in 1995, so it's quite a long time ago. And I didn't drive it for many years for a range of reasons, um, time and issues uh, with the car. And eventually um, I started doing some demonstration events with it um, in about 2000, 2001, 2002. And luckily the, um, the guys in the historic division really liked the car and they uh, said, why don't you come and race with us? So that's r really how it happened. So I started racing the car in about 2003. And having run the car quite regularly, um, you know, I needed to rebuild engines and gearboxes, and I started looking on the internet for another car, or not actually another engine or gearbox, and I found this one for sale. So about three or four years ago, I bought this one. Um, so it was a bit more expensive than an engine and gearbox, but <laughs> I couldn't find an engine and gearbox, so I got the car. So I got a second car, and now I've got both of them in race race worthy condition, and I run them um, at various meetings, but. We've been working particularly on this car to get it sorted because uh, Johansson, who drove this car in a couple of um, of the Grand Prix in 1985, uh, was um, set up with a much bigger aero package than, than the other one and also a qualifying engine. So this car is quite different. Although it was the same season, it was evolved and developed from, from the other car, which uh, Michele Alboreto drove. And he had some very good uh, wins, and that, not wins, but seconds and uh, two seconds and a fourth and a fifth and a seventh and a ninth. So that car's got quite a nice provenance, um, as, as does this one with two seconds as well. The actual engines on the car, they're 1500cc, twin turbocharged. What kind of horsepower are we talking? Well, at static, when you just dial the boost right out of them, you've got about 550 horsepower, but we can dial them up to about seven or 800, depending on how much we want. Now, I won't do that, I don't need to. And uh, in this historic division, I'm not trying to emulate the way those guys drove in the season. So I'm quite happy with five or 600 horsepower. That's more than enough for me. I'm with Ian Ross, and he is the lucky person that owns this Beatrice Lola. Um, with the hard engine uh, Formula One car. Now, Ian, tell us about the car. Uh, this is Alan Jones's car the, for his return to Formula One. It was the first car on the Adelaide Grand Prix circuit in 1985. Fantastic. And um, the four cylinder hard engine, uh, what configuration is it now with the horsepower wise? It's a hard 4152, which means four cylinder, 1.5 litre turbo. And um, yeah, it is what it is. So how did you come by owning it? I seen it on the internet for sale, racing in England, in the Euroboss series, which it won for four years. Previous to that, it was in a museum in Switzerland. Um, I just seen it there, the guy lost his sponsorship and the car's for sale. So we purchased the car, bought it here. And we appreciate it every time you bring it too, it's just fantastic. I've got Mr. Bill Hemming with me, and he is Elfin, as known to all of us uh, petrol heads. And um, Bill, tell us about your 5000. Right, well, uh, these two cars are out of the Elfin Heritage Centre. Uh, the 5000 was the um, Vern Schupen car, it was one of three MR8s that were made, part of the uh, ANSET team Elfin back in the 70s very famous sort of period. Uh, Vern raced it three times in Australia and then took it to America and put a sports car body on it and raced it in the Can-Am series for a couple of years. Uh, it came back to Australia oh, no, about 15 years ago with the sports car body on it. We've converted it back to the 5000 because that's all the go at the moment. So uh, They put out about 500 horsepower with um, the old Lucas fuel injection and that's enough. It gets your attention. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, with the other car you've got in the background, what about that one? That's uh, Bob Jane, uh, that's his original car. Uh, 1967 it was built and um, had a lot of famous drivers, Alan Moffat, Bob Jane, Ian Cook, and they won the Victorian Sports Car Championships. And then Bevan Gibson uh, killed himself in it at Bathurst in 69. It went over the old Conrod and turned turtle and landed upside down. Wow. And uh, I got it as a box of bits about four years ago and just got it back together. Yeah. So it's the first time it's run like that for 41 years. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So up to you and you've uh, turned it into a going concern again. That's fantastic.